Greetings and blessings from the Most High, Ja Rastafari. Talking about boxing again today. And whether you're a professional, an amateur, just starting off, if you want to improve your game, develop your jab. You want to be a good boxer, have a good jab. You want to be a great boxer, have a great jab. It's probably one of the best weapons you're going to have, best tool in your box. It's a great defensive tool, keeps people off, it's a range finder, you can use it as a ramrod, picking up points, keeping distance, probing for openings. It's the best weapon you've got, work it, work the jab. Look at all the great boxers out there, from past to present, the best ones always had a good jab. And the best thing about it is they knew when to use it, timing of the jab. We were talking about the other day observation somebody asked me once when um, you go into the center of the ring why you do the eyeball to eyeball for me it's simple I'm looking at your eyeballs to see what they look like when they're normal because when they eat them their eyes are the first thing that go and when that gives you that opportunity to jump in um, footwork drills they're all very good and you get into nice patterns in these drills and you get into a nice rhythm and they work very well be very careful because once you get them imprinted you become that rhythm and you become that pattern and when you get in the ring them rhythms and them patterns become easily read and then you're going to fall into traps that good and great fighters set for you because they know what you're going to do because the rhythm so you got to keep breaking it up do something completely different off the ball you got to keep your opponent always wondering what you're going to do next. If he knows, then the game's over. So remember that when you're doing these footwork drills and patterns. Throw some random rubbish in there. The basics and the fundamentals of boxing, which I like. And I think the best one is imagination. You have to have a very good imagination. Especially when you're shadow boxing. Imagine your opponent throwing shots. You can slow it right down. You can watch the shot come. Where's your body going to move? and just get your body into it, muscle memory it's called, I think, I don't know, but imagination is one of the best things. And work on your balance, balance and footwork and imagination. These are homework that trainers can't teach you to do or tell you to do it. This is when you're doing it by yourself, when you're at the bus stop, when you're going to work. Imagine it, when you're going to school, when you're at school and you're bored, imagine it. Because sometimes you're in a lesson and it's crap. Get into a ring in your head and box, shadow box, enjoy yourself. That's it for speaking this morning about the art of boxing, about self-control. You need to learn self-control. In the ring, when you get brought together, the referee says to you, obey my commands at all times. You're in a more stressful situation in the ring and you have to concentrate hard to whatever's going on around you and you have to listen to the referee. So start listening to your trainers. That's all I can say, start listening to your trainers because self-control is very, very difficult to learn. But you need to learn it to be a good boxer. Be in control of yourself in all situations and act appropriately. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. I'm back to the basics on boxing. One thing I find is you lot need to learn to breathe. Breathe in through your nose. Bite down hard on your gum shields. Breathing is very important. When you get a break, take a deep breath in through your nose. Hold it for a few seconds and then let it out slowly. Calm your breathing down. That's what uses a lot of energy up, is your breathing. So learn to breathe. Bye. Yesterday I was saying about the things I was taught as a boxer. If you're getting it, you're doing some wrong move. Today I'm gonna to say, learn to skip. Make skipping the first part of your training session. It's very good for warm up. Plus it works the, the muscles that you need to work on the balls of your feet to dance around the ring. It works on your balance as well and eye coordination. It works on quite a few things. So learn to skip and skip well. See you tomorrow. Bye.